Welcome back to Hannah's Harvest. Today I'm making chicken tacos and I'll also show you a recipe that I use for making cowboy candy, which is pickled jalapenos that are sweet and delicious. I hope that you'll enjoy this video and as always, the recipes will be linked in the description below. When I was out in the garden this morning, I saw that I have several jalapenos and blazing banana peppers that are ready to be harvested. And I've known for a while I wanted to stock up on peppers so that I could make one of my favorite recipes, cowboy candy. And I thought it'd be really good to go with tacos. So that's what we're working on today. I'm gonna harvest the peppers and then we'll make the cowboy candy together. I like to make it a couple days in advance so the flavors can really marinate and meld together and it'll be at its maximum flavor. I'm going to start by chopping up my peppers and traditional cowboy candy is made with just jalapenos but I had some blazing banana peppers that are nice spicy peppers that I wanted to add as well so I'm doing about half jalapeno half blazing banana. Next we'll work on the sauce, which is a combination of sugar, vinegar, garlic, and salt. I'll add the peppers and cook them for a couple minutes. Next, I'll jar it up, making sure to include all of the delicious sauce. In this recipe, I had a lot of extra sauce compared to my pepper ratio, but I want to save it to add for my tacos, so it will be worth having some extra. This is a recipe that you can make and can up, but for this one today, I'm just putting the top on and putting them in the fridge. They'll last in the fridge for a couple weeks. Now we'll start our chicken tacos. I'm going to start by adding um, about a pound and a half of chicken to the Instant Pot. And this is boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which gives it a much richer and juicier flavor than chicken breasts. And I'm going to add some of the juice that we had from our pickled peppers. And when I'm cooking chicken in the Instant Pot, I always add some juice so that it doesn't get stuck to the bottom. The juices from our peppers will make our chicken nice and tangy and spicy. I'm also going to add some garlic powder, chili powder, cumin, paprika, and salt. And I don't have a specific ratio. I just try to add about the same amount of spices that you would find in a seasoning packet. You can also use fajita seasoning or taco seasoning um, for your chicken tacos. And set the Instant Pot for about 40 minutes on high. And we'll check it then. While the chicken cooks, I'm going to start my guacamole. I like to freeze extra avocados and what I do is just um, take the peel off and you can freeze them. They stay green, they don't turn brown or anything and before I make guacamole I will microwave them for a couple minutes to make them soft and then I'll add the rest of the ingredients. The avocados are defrosted and mixed together and now I'm going to add a splash of lime juice and my vegetables and seasonings. I have a couple of tomatoes from the garden as well as some small peppers that I'm going to add to this guacamole. I'm 
also going to add some garlic powder and salt to the guacamole and I'll taste test before I serve it just to make sure I have the right ratio. Next I'll add an onion and a little bit of cilantro. on days like today, but if you want something that's a little bit more formulated, I really like Alton Brown's guacamole recipe, so that's what I'll link in the description for you. I like that guacamole is something that you can just throw in what you have, and it's unique every time. If you watched my fish taco video, you probably know how much I love this broccoli slaw. And I don't always have a vegetable component when I do tacos, but it is nice to sneak in some extra veggies. So I decided to throw in um, a really quick slaw to add to the top of my tacos. So I'm going to use about a half of this package of broccoli slaw. And I'll also add my leftover fourth of an onion. I'll add some lime juice and then I'm going to chop up a little bit of cilantro just to get that fresh flavor. I'm going to add a little squeeze of mayonnaise to help my slaw hold together. I think the slaw and the guacamole will be a really good cooling element to my tacos since the chicken will be spicy and I'm going to serve the spicy pickled jalapenos on top. Here's a look at our chicken and I'm going to use a fork just to break it apart. Dinner is ready to go. My sister Haley's having dinner with me, so I have it set out kind of buffet style. We have our utensils, plates, and shells. And our shredded chicken looks delicious. Then at the end, our toppings are broccoli slaw, guacamole, our pickled peppers to put on top, and we both like to eat those pickled peppers with chips, so I have some saucer set up for us and our chips and we are ready to eat. Well I hope you enjoyed watching me make a simple dinner of chicken tacos and my favorite thing that I made by far tonight is these pickled peppers. Definitely recommend that you give it a try. They're delicious. Thank you so much for watching.